ça marche ah, ça fonctionne hein Merry Christmas to those of you who celebrated, and welcome back. Get ready for some saves and stupid levels of survivability, because today's episode is all about the shields. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's hop right back in with a very festive Jingle Bells popping off with the shield pops. I'm gonna suck it. Shen, thank you. We're playing League of Legends. Trollo is playing 4D chess with these moves. Speaking of thinking ahead, Sir Kiss has beaten down this minion as fast as he can for a level 6 push to swing the momentum of this fight. That's right. Game ending ultimate right there. That. SLR Yumi, I believe, is the support Lux of the game. Her kill unfortunately goes down, but the buff transfer is going to be complete when she picks up this kill on Kassadin. The double buffs value from the CDR and the red buff slow give this Lux a massive survivability boost. Oh, 
Janna is the queen of disengage. Also, I love this Glacial Augment Shirelia's combo. So we see Warwick coming in from the topside, and you know Spider's got her monsoon at the ready. As soon as the ice beams pop, she also pops the Shirelia speed boost to give Vayne as much space as she needs to kite this one out. This is what godlike peel looks like. Even though Bromshield isn't very good versus Lilia, Wavy Bloom still finds a way to completely shut the steer down. Did you think you could keep us out? Shut the gates, forget us now. It's hard to change it. Coming up next, I learned something new today. We got a surprise Morgana roaming up since her ADC is dead and just in the nick of time. Honor your supports, boys. Our Lux is CC to death here, but Janna still finds a way to save her. And now the Dark Seal stacks are safe. Next up, we're starting off with a teleport gank on Urgot, but he's running Gore Drinker build, and well, watch how Riven and Kassadin kind of combo themselves here by walking around the legs. Oh my god. Uh. 
There in a second. Good. Now just imagine how much of a problem Yone's gonna be after spending that 4k gold. Next up, Lord Oro is deceptively tanky with his Flow Shield, Shield Bow, Life Steal, and Revitalize Rune. Not to mention Vayne is all the damage here, and this Wind Wall placement is such a nuisance. What a beautiful bait. Next up, looks like Lulu just got doubles from killing Lee Sin on the gank. Her Twitch is going aggressive here, so of course she's got his back, and make sure to watch that EXP. I cannot believe he held barrier for that long and got the level up to live. Coming up next, we got some Janna top shenanigans. Rengar is here to punish the pick, but they have no idea what this Janna is capable of. Also, mind the massive minion wave. Kevin Sama ain't your average set. This is a lethal tempo, full crit, brass knuckle set, and he is swinging. Oh. <laughs> 
Kicking off this play, Toasty Shieldbow is about to come up at the perfect time and check out this wind wall. It is now time to engage those to watch this little wombo combo dance performance by Yasuo and Akali. Thanks so much for watching, that is going to do it for today's episode featuring the shields. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you want to see some more. Happy holidays everyone, until next time, take care, stay safe, and have a wonderful day.